A fire in few of the OVH cloud data centers, specifically in the Strasbourg site in France, uh, has completely destroyed an entire data center and partially destroyed another one. Uh, the good news is nobody is hurt, which is good. Uh, the bad news is uh, the damage is very bad and uh, it's gonna take a while to restore this thing. Let's get, let's jump into it. So guys, if you don't know, uh, OVH Cloud is is one of the biggest data centers. It's still, a, it's like a, it's not really a, a public company yet, but it is one of the biggest company, uh, data centers, cloud providers in uh, Europe, essentially. And um, they have over 15 data centers across Europe. And uh, this is an unfortunate incident that happened, uh, I think, yesterday. A fire has caught in. So let's just uh, see what happened exactly. We know very, very little about this incident, but we can learn a thing or two when running a production environments. And, and then relying on one single data center is generally a bad idea. And that some customers look like they have been uh, stung by this. Let's just jump into it. So a fire of our at our Strasbourg site. So Strasbourg is here in France, very edge with Germany at the border. Summary. At 47 after midnight on Wednesday, 10th March 2021. It's funny that the dates are flipped now. I'm not no longer used to this. So March 10th, 2021, a fire broke out in a room at one of our four OVH cloud data centers in Stan, uh, Stasburg, uh, uh, in, in Stasburg, France. So SBG2, that's where the fire started. That's the data center where it started, SBG2. Okay. The fire was contained by the early hours of the morning. They contained it, no injuries, which is good. The fire mostly destroyed the entire data center and partially damaged the not one near it, which is SBG1 data center. Four of the 12 rooms destroyed. The two other OVH cloud data centers in Sternberg were not affected by the fire. The SVG 3 and 4 are currently switched off but and damaged, right? So they switch it off to avoid causing any more cascading effect, right? So just like switch it off, right? The site is not classified as a CIVSO site. I'm, I'm th I think this is the hazardous site. That's what it means. The cause of the fire has yet to be established and an investigation has been launched as mandated by the authorities. Yeah, because like what caused the fire? Like really odd, right? Because if it's not a CIVSO site, like what caused it really? If there's no hazardous material lying around there. Uh, that's what caused the, essentially, outage, if you want to call it an outage. We still don't know. There are, there are, of course, there are a lot of customers. If you're watching this video, let us know. Have you been affected by this? And uh, what is the extent of this? Because we don't know the extent. Like, we're here in the U.S., so we don't know the extent of people using this in Europe. And is it, is it really a big set? Let us know in the comment section. That would be... Uh, just okay, so we can measure the uh, the extent of this. So here's the services, here's the tasks that have been so far. So like, as of now, it's around 9 p.m. here in the U.S., March 10th, 9 p.m. And uh, a lot of services you can see is down, right? So the field voice over IP is down, dedicated cloud is down. I don't know what Microsoft is, like uh, all the Microsoft services is down apparently most of them they're they're working hard i mean by the way kudos to the engineers bringing all this thing back up and running because this is tough now this is really really tough so kudos to all the engineers you guys are doing an amazing job because man i can't imagine uh, a tougher job right now right so some of the services are up but most of them are down the cloud the cdns uh, Specifically, when we say that, this is specifically to the to Strasbourg data center, right? So some of the stuff are unreachable. All right, so that's that's the extent of the unavailability. What action did OVH Cloud took to uh, mitigate that? The technical and the commercial team have been working since this morning 
to inform our customers and handle the unavailability of the Stasberg site. The company's founder, Octavia Klaba, has been on site since this morning with the industry and technical team. So he's, uh, uh, they're providing the, the link that I just showed, the tweets, uh, the, the services, uh, all that stuff. A customer announcements have been went, went to the, obviously, the subscribers of the services. They're handling the customer request. What are the priorities? What are they taking priorities now? How do they bring this? It's like a, a lot of servers were damaged, right? So what will happen now? Our three priorities are as follows. Reserve infrastructure at our other data centers for our affected customers. We have a stock of new servers at the Rubix and the Graveline site. I guess this is, uh, where are these exactly? I'm just interested. Look up. So that's also in France, North France, okay. And Gravelines, this is also commuted in North France, okay. It's both there are in France. Ready to be delivered to the majority of affected customers, we will further enhance availability in these data centers with production of nearly 10,000 new servers in coming weeks. So they're, they're bumping up the coming server, they're bumping up the other data centers, and they're moving their existing affected customers all the way there. So that tells me that they didn't lose any data, which is, which is the, they build this stuff with this in mind. They build and stuff like if something failed, they have backup, right? Even the, the CEO told the, their company, hey guys, execute immediately the, the um, disaster recovery. If you have any, just, just immediately enable it, right? If you, if you have like a disaster recovery, just kick it in uh, <laughs> because it's, this, is, uh, this is where you need it. Uh, Affected customer will be notified with the process soon. Secure the sites. Now that we have gained access, clean it up, reconnect the electricity and network of uh, for the three affected data centers. Now that we have gained access, clean it up, reconnect the electricity and network of the three affected data centers. So the partially one damage, which is SP1, I think, and then the other ones just like bring, just hook them up back in. Continue to assist the impact in our customer servers to at the effective data centers in order to find the best solutions. We are doing everything we can to ensure a continuity of service to our customers. Again, we don't know what is the extent of what how are how are the customers being affected yet because it's, it's not clear here from this article. We are working on a plan to relaunch the three unaffected data centers. The partially affected data center is BG1, right? So so uh, two were unaffected, three and four. Partially affected is one, two is dead, forget about it, right? That's just is completely gone. So that have to be built from scratch, as well as our network as quickly as possible. We ask that our customer exercise caution around the, the emails they receive in time of crisis. It is common for malicious activity, phishing spam, to increase. It is more important than ever to stay alert. Yeah, of course. This side, like, hey, they'll say, oh, to, to, get, to get back online, they click on this link and unfortunately people are some people are just uh, uh, bad like this like they want to take advantage of these situations to to exploit people which makes me sad we are continuing to assist the impact of this incident particularly for the customers whose data was located in the data center destroyed by the fire okay so Customers whose data is located in the fire, destroyed, they, they want to assess. Now, what does that mean? And if, it's, if the data center, obviously the data center itself, has the data and the data, is, the data center is destroyed, there's no data anymore, right? <laughs> this is all gone. So how would they help is not clear unless they have some sort of a backup into other data centers. Again, the whole thing, guys, is just you have... A, if, you, if you're a customer, you sometimes you take risks. Like, okay, should I pay an extra $10,000 to do a cross data center backup recovery, all that stuff? Sometimes like, okay, uh, what are the chances that there will be a fire that will destroy everything? Yeah, it's kind of, 
kind of slim, <laughs> but not really, as in this case, right? Our web based voice over IP services in France were not effective in France, the whole France. But uh, if you click here, voice over IP was disabled, so I'm not sure. All our services in other France based data centers and across the world, including 15 data centers in Europe, are fully operational. All right, so it's so it looks like the it is the setup is highly available, just like it should be, right? But we're not sure about the applications running on top of things, right? Yeah, the data center networking aspect, the switches, the routers, they are resilient to these kind of failures, but the applications, the backend applications specifically, built on top of all this, are they do they are are they resilient enough to switch and and uh, spin off on other data centers? I mean, Kubernetes really help in these kind of situations, right? We're just you you're dealing with images and 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 kind of containers. You just destroy one, eh, it's done, done. Yeah, take that image, just ship it spin up in a completely different data center the whole thing is stateless anyway and that's the power of kubernetes and, and then these container orchestration systems right uh yeah it's, again backups are important if there are no backups i don't know how things can go uh, things can go sideways i think our mission is to provide our customer for the highest uh, quality of the service to support their online activities, and we know how important this is to them. We sincerely apologize uh, cause of the fire. We will continue to communicate with the greatest terms. So they don't know what's the cause of the fire. I'm really happy that nobody is hurt, and uh, kudos to all the engineers in uh, OVH Cloud working on this thing. Uh, I know that... Uh, I don't know, I read somewhere that they are preparing for their IPO to go public. That kind of sucks that this happened now before they go public. It shouldn't really matter. I guess it depends on the reason, what, what caused the fire, but I don't, I, I don't know if that will affect the shares and all that stuff. Guys, if you're in Europe, were you affected by this outage? Let me know in the comment section below. And uh, kudos to all the engineers working on this stuff. Keep up the good work, and uh, I'm going to see you on the next one. You guys stay awesome. Goodbye.